Welcome to Condition by Kia. So this week's topic is all about endurance. I'm gonna quickly go over what it is, why it's important, and how many reps during a workout are actually considered endurance. Endurance is important because it helps with your heart, your lungs, and your muscles. By building up your endurance, you actually allow your muscles to be able to lift a certain weight many times over, and that will actually bring more blood, more oxygen, more nutrients throughout those muscles, helping you to really tone up and get the results you're looking for. Think of endurance as one of your foundation pillars along your fitness journey. This is important because the more you can rep out a certain amount of weights, the better you're gonna do in the long run, which is gonna help you in your strength training when you hit that next phase of your journey. So how many reps are considered endurance? 12 to 20 reps actually, because if you think about it, 12 to 20 reps will take you about 30 seconds to a minute or more, depending on what exercise you're doing. And this is gonna keep you in continuous movement for that time frame, which is gonna keep the blood pumping and keep your body moving. For today's workout, I'm gonna be targeting in on the chest, triceps, and on the abs. Equipment-wise, you're going to need long cables with handles as well as dumbbells. Now, for some of these floor movements, I am gonna have a little box up there for a modify screen, so that way if you can't do a full-out motion, there's a modified version for it. There are gonna be seven exercises. I'm gonna do each exercise three times around. The seventh exercise is gonna be supersetted by itself, so it's just gonna go one arm to the other arm, back and forth like that. Well, let's go ahead, let's jump in it, and let's have some fun. So this first exercise is going to be the cable upward chest fly. So you're going to step on the cable with your foot, make sure it's even, and then step through with the other foot so that way your arms are kind of dragged behind you. You're going to bring your arms up from beside your hips, up into the front of your shoulders, keeping your arms at a slight angle and flexing your chest muscles with every flex going upwards. This next one is gonna be a plank walk to a push-up. So you're gonna get into your plank position, hand in and foot out, and then alternate. You're gonna walk over twice and then push up, walk over twice the other direction and do another push-up. I am counting 10 push-ups for this round.
this one is going to be a cable standing chest fly. So with the cable stretched out, you're going to want to make sure that your arms are nice and straight, pulling all the way out before you flex going all the way in. going to be the plank to alternating tricep kickback. So once you get into your plank position, you can have your feet out for balance. You're going to pull up and do a tricep kickback, keeping your elbow nice and up and making sure that the stable elbow does not lock out on you.
Alright, so this one is going to be a dumbbell tricep press to chest fly. So starting with the dumbbells above you, you're going to let your arms go down towards hugging your side, back up into the air, into the chest fly. So alignment wise, you're going to go hugging your body, up in front of your shoulders, into a chest fly. Make sure you keep your arms straight without locking out on the elbows. So this next one is what I like to call elbow up down into knee push up. You might have heard these as push up to plank, but I like to call them elbow up down. So get into your plank position, down to your elbow plank, back up to your regular plank, drop down to the knees into a tricep push up. And you're going to keep alternating that. If this is not enough of a challenge, you can always do just a regular push up instead.
exercise, you're gonna be doing back and forth without any 30 second breaks. It's a cable single arm overhead extension, stepping on the cable with the same leg as the same arm that's working. So left leg, left arm working. And I'm doing 15 for each arm. And then you're just gonna alternate back and forth. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had an awesome time with that workout. I hope you got your heart rate up, a good sweat going, and a nice burn in those muscles. Um, feel free to leave in the comments below what your favorite exercise was and which one you would like to improve on. If you have any fitness or nutrition questions, feel free to reach out. You can leave them down there in the box below in the comments, or you can reach out to me directly through any of my social medias. There will be links down in the box below as well in the description. So for today's Bible verse, it's from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 26 to 27. And it says, So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete training to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. What that speaks to me personally is all about discipline and being a good example. So by discipline, to me it means I need to train my body with purpose and focus on the why. Why I want to reach my goals. Why I want to do this. So that way I train with purpose. And as for the example, if you are trying to be an example for your loved ones and those around you, they're going to see your effort and they're going to see your progress. And not only for them, but for you personally, you are going to see all the things you have come through along your journey and you will find that you are not gonna disqualify yourself and others won't disqualify you based on your example. But you are doing your best and you're running your race with your goals and your purpose. Well, until next time, I hope you have an awesome and wonderfully blessed week and I hope to see you in the next one.